What's going on, everybody? Shane here to bring you an exciting piece of news. If you're a fan of the LG V30 as I am, I made a video a while back detailing how to use a ported version of the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL's camera in order to achieve HDR Plus on this phone. It dramatically improves the performance of the camera. So today I'm going to bring you a, say, a, let's call it a 2.0 version of that video. Because now, the same guy that's been porting that camera has now gone one step further and has now gotten portrait mode actually working on the uh, on the new on the newest version of the app. Now I've spent the last 20 30 minutes playing with the settings trying to find a setting that is the most stable and isn't super laggy and so forth and so on because it's a little hinky. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you I'm going to show you this. This is the settings that I have set on mine right now. I'm going to give you a link to it in the in the comments below. Don't worry about that. Same link as last time, but just the newest version. And these are the settings that I've come up with. The zero shutter like setting, if you go to either in any of those, it's going to crash. You're going to have to go in and delete the storage and start fresh again. It's or reinstall it. Um, so Whereas normally any number of settings would work, some would just work better than others, and this one, it's a razor's edge. There's only a handful of settings that are going to work, and these are the ones that I feel are working the best. None of them are working tremendously well as of yet, but they're working. Now here's the really cool thing. I didn't think this was going to work. I thought this was going to be bullshit, but here we are. I'm going to go back over here again, and what I'm going to show you is this is the first picture I took with portrait mode enabled on my LG V30. And if you were looking at this on my actual LG V30, and I don't know if I'll be able to show you this or not, we will try. If I bring it up here, you can see there, here it is, there's my V30. And you can actually switch between the two modes, just like on my wife's Pixel 2. What's weird is that if you try and use it on things that aren't faces, say like Mr. Meeseeks, it doesn't know what to do. It doesn't blur the background. It doesn't give you the option at all. On this little Funko Pop guy, same deal. No blurring of the background at all. I'm going to try to kind of prove it to you real quick. I'm going to go into portrait mode. You can see here, I'm in portrait mode. and I'm going to try to take a picture of myself in portrait mode. Boy, this is difficult. How about this? And we'll see what kind of a result we get here. Right off. I mean, and there you go. Portrait mode. Boom. And I'll, In fact, let's do you one better over here. There you go. There's your portrait mode. And for some reason on this one, it actually is showing the uh, the two options. We have portrait mode now officially, unofficially, working on the LG V30. If we jump back over here to this website that I've shown you before, here you go. Here's where it is. And I'm looking at this latest build, our Nova's latest build. And I'm sure this is going to proliferate more and more. And this is going to be a big thing you're going to be seeing in the hacky kind of community. So just something I wanted to show with you. Something I think is really, really interesting and really, really cool. And hopefully you guys can take advantage of it too. Glad that my dogs were here to share the video with me this time. So... Yeah, tell me what you think. Try it out. Tell me what, what settings are working best for you. Let me know what's going on in the comments below. And until next time, stay nerdy.